Okay, so we have uh, the seizure files. Yeah, it was doing the spectrograms of, uh, it's actually taking Kaggle, Kaggle data. And at the moment it's just displaying it, it's not actually doing anything with it. And even the display of it is not great because, yeah, the way the data was stored is not great. Yeah, it's this, uh, this Kaggle competition there. Had $50,000 prize money. A leaderboard. Uh, they have public and private holiday went up like that's the difference between the uh, a public and private a uh, team Sony stayed the same yeah you can see how the these numbers are highly saturated uh, they really similar holiday went up and Alice and Co went two down so they were like second place went fourth with the private uh, data set so essentially the algorithm didn't quite uh, generalize onto the whole uh, data. They have those uh, write-ups from the teams. Wonder if we can, uh, what I want to do is have an application that will uh, deploy uh, something on the website that will actually have a display. Where was it? A display like this. And uh, uh, show what the algorithm does, uh, which features it's looking at, and uh, giving you a result of uh, what the segment is. So that could be an interesting project. Might take a while though. Yes, this seizure fuzz is not really. It's not really published. The the reason it's called seizure fuzz is because there's some seizures in this data set. And we wanted to do uh, compare uh, some of those algorithms to yeah essentially each uh, there were like four competitors they had the uh, each uh, doing a different model then they had an ensemble <laughs> something something happened to Joe <laughs> he was just doing like its own thing his own her own thing. Yeah, I wonder how hard it is to do, you know, to combine uh, four different models. This one seems to be overly uh, complicated. Interestingly, they were all looking at the raw EEG. They didn't look at the spectrograms, which is really interesting. Uh, the second place going straight into the code. Mm. Now it's the creation of data set. Does this suggest they're actually looking at the spectrograms this team? I don't know. Anyway, we'll have to wrap up. We will Let's just quickly see. And go check the website if you haven't done so already. There's a lot of interesting tools. Uh, some of them are not published, so you have to watch these uh, live streams to even know about them. So yeah, 